The governor plans to veto a proposal for a controversial first responder campus project. It's all part of a list of items that were struck down from the state budget. Manolo Morales. The state legislature approved $72 million in the budget that could go into building a first responder technology campus in Mililani that would serve as the main headquarters for county, state, and federal agencies. The project would include training areas, housing, a hotel, and even a helipad. The governor says one of the problems is that it's not clear how much it will actually cost. We want to be really clear because we learned lessons from the rail, which was started at one cost and then got gigantic. And a lot of people don't want that to happen again. So we're being careful. The main reason for the cut in funding, the governor says, is because the Council on Revenues reduced its forecast, which happened after the budget bill was passed. The funding was also inserted into the budget at the last minute, which drew criticism from some lawmakers. Green says the project could end up costing hundreds of millions of dollars, and it doesn't make sense to rush into it. I don't want it to be hurried. I think everyone felt concern that we were hurried at the end. And if we're going to be hurried, it better be on much smaller things that I can fix quickly rather than something that we can't come back from. Senate Ways and Means Chairman Senator Donovan De La Cruz, a big proponent of the project, sent a statement saying, I will be working with the governor during the interim to address the state's needs to relocate and modernize our first responders' critical infrastructure next session. The Hawaii Emergency Management Agency gave a tour of its facility to demonstrate the need for improvements. But Green says there's too much at risk to move forward with the project as is. We do need to upgrade what we do for Haima. We do need to have a lot of extra capacity to deal with cybersecurity. But we also have to do it within our means. Haima sent a statement saying we recognize that the governor had a fiscal duty to make cuts. We look forward to working with all the parties to find a solution. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.